Well, this isn't tea today in my cup. I have a new appreciation for water, knowing that one billion people in this world do not have what I'm holding. Dirty water kills more people than AIDS or cancer. Winnipeg-born singer-songwriter Jody King has become passionate about providing water to those who are dying without it. Jody, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You, you have an interesting appreciation of water that predates any trip to Africa. Yeah. I, I just want you to take us quickly to brushing your teeth at five. Oh, man. <laughs> when I was, yeah, about five years old, it all of a sudden dawned on me that I, uh, I needed Jesus. And I don't know how this happens in a five-year-old's mind, but this is what happened to me. And uh, I've always had a connection to water. I can never drink enough. I think I drink like eight to 10 glasses a day ever since I was a little kid. So me and water go way back. <laughs> now, how did your passion for water where it isn't on this earth yeah. become ignited? Well, you know what? It really started with uh, helping downtown Winnipeg. Me and my husband live in a condo right in the core. And uh, the more we started to kind of become neighbors and friends with the people we passed each day as we walked wherever we were going, um, our hearts started to grow to more of a worldwide global focus and just wondering how we could get involved. And being a Canadian, it just seemed a really natural progression to be involved with water. Because as we talked to people and shared our hearts for helping life water, it really made sense to Canadians. They could understand, you know, we have such an abundance. So Now you just yeah. rolled past two words that people may not realize Life Water yeah. is an organization. Yeah, it's a Canadian nonprofit. Husband and wife out of Thunder Bay started it. And we got involved because they heard our songs and really felt the heartbeat of our songs and their ministry really lined up together. So it was a really ni nice fit that we feel sort of God brought along. And uh, we were happy to join a part with them and partner. You know, music can bring to the surface the heartbeat of something, I feel, in a really special way. So we were happy to join with them. Now, there's a lot I want to clarify here. Uh, you've been married five years. Yes. Um, you <clears throat> are married to Chris, yeah. who is also a musician. Mm -hmm. And you do secular arenas as well as churches. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're out there just <laughs> singing your songs. Yeah. Uh, wherever the door opens, it seems. It's true. I have always prayed that um, God would help me write songs that were honest and that they would connect and bring light wherever we sang. And uh, I'm thankful when I read the Psalms where David is often not singing happy songs. They're not always about, you know, the sun shining and everything being great. They're sometimes about anger, frustration with God, you know, not understanding why the world isn't fair all the time. And uh, that is life. That's mm -hmm. real. And mm -hmm. so we have found that it's been really important to us, just, just our ministry and our um, path has led us into playing inside of churches as well as in pubs and different different venues and uh, we love that it's and keeps you on your toes when you're relying on God to help you connect with whatever audience you're in front of I'm holding your first CD yeah uh, you have a new one out any time I yes this is, this is really quite a picture Jody oh, well, if you thanks. don't mind me saying so <laughs> that's really really something thank uh, you worship and justice yeah those are two things you like to combine yeah I remember stumbling on the verse Micah 6 8 where it talks about what the Lord requires of us and that hit me so hard it's not just a request of God to us it's it's a requirement you know for his followers and that really hit me so hard and I think that worship is so much more than what I sing it's really you know when my faith is put into action when I'm living out my worship so that's just been a real big goal of ours is that our songs would be worship lived out and that our songs would reflect a lifestyle of worship you know so what did a trip to Africa hmm. where life is is laced with music yeah it really do is. for your heart and your singing it was amazing you know no mics needed no <laughs> amplification they just give her and, and no we, rehearsal no on a, on a regular basis right it's right it just, it's just comes right. out of them yeah we got to join in on, on some choir rehearsals for a song. We, we sang one of my songs with a choir there. And when we walked in, they were singing Days of Elijah, that worship song, which we do in our church all the time. But it was just a party. It was an absolute riot. And I just couldn't believe it. Like, it's just infectious. It was amazing. Yeah. Now, you did record a song yeah. uh, that reflects uh, your mission. Yeah. And you had some very special help. 
Yeah, we've, there's a couple really special songs on the album. Um, I Live For You is a song um, that talks about just living out our worship, really, essentially. And we got to sing that there. Chris brought his acoustic guitar, and we raised our voices together with this 75-voice Liberian choir. And we sang it for the celebration of the 300th well drilled in a village in Liberia. So it was so, pretty special. So Life Water has done... 300 yeah, wells they have just in Liberia. Just in Liberia. Because they are also in Nigeria, Kenya, Haiti, yeah. and Zambia. They started in Liberia because the water table is only 30 feet below the, the surface. So it was an easy kind of place to start out and try out this method of a hand pump. So they've been going there um, for the last 15 years, all the way through the Civil War in Liberia, mm. which is pretty amazing. And That yeah. war just ended, what, three years ago? Yeah, it was about three years ago. So there, it's a very ravaged country. Devastated. It really is. No electricity, no water, the simple things, hygiene that we take for granted is just, it's not reality over there right now. So, And yet, I know you've talked about what we see too. Yeah. Joy. Yeah. Joyful people. Oh my goodness. Because they're not relying on anything but God, it seems, you know? So, and they're in the moment. We're always planning. <laughs> We're thinking about I our am. past or our future and worrying. Yeah. And they live fully in the moment. I'm they so do. thrilled to hear you say that. Yeah. I believe I came to understand the abundant life hmm. in Africa. Hmm. Wow. I really do. It is hmm. living fully yeah. in the moment yeah. with God. It's true. And, and it doesn't mean something exciting is happening. Right. It might be dirty and dusty and you might be hungry, mm -hmm. but it's rich. Yeah, it's you're true. You're all there and God is there in the middle. It's true. Yeah, and you're just having church around a tree or wherever you are, you know, you're hanging out with God and it's a part of your every step and that's it's pretty cool. We're going to get to see some of these joyful faces. Now, is your backup choir, are these orphans? Some of them are. Um, we visited quite a few orphanages. There's not a lot of people over the age of 20 in Liberia because mm. of the war. Mm. So you don't know everyone's story, but I hadn't talked to one person that hadn't lost someone while I was there. So, mm. yeah. Well, let's just enjoy the party <laughs> that Jody helped to create and walked into. This is I Live For You.